Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at this coronavirus. So what is a co the coronavirus and uh, what's actually going on uh, with this disease? So first of all, they just announced today that the coronavirus is now a pandemic. So what is a pandemic? First of all, an epidemic is an event in which a disease is actively spreading, often used to describe a problem that has grown out of control, whereas a pandemic is related to geography or geographic spread, describes disease that affects uh, a whole country or the entire world. So that is uh, the major thing here now because it affects so many countries. So just to give you a quick background on um, the coronavirus, the CDC is responding to an outbreak of a respiratory disease caused by the new coronavirus that was first detected in China and which has now been detected in more than 100 locations internationally. So, of course, that includes the United States. The virus has been named SARS-CoV-2 and the disease it causes has a name uh, coronavirus 2019, or it's abbreviated the way we see it every day on the news, COVID-19. And um, blah, 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 it goes on to say, and this is all information from the cdc.gov website. So if you go to that website, you'll get all of the news updates and this information that I took from that website. So we could um, actually direct you to this website and it would help you get a better understanding of the uh, virus itself. Now, other items from the CDC is this virus was first detected in Wuhan city in China. The first infections were linked to a live animal market, but the virus is now spreading from person to person. It's important to note, note that the person, to po uh, person spread can happen on a continuum some viruses are highly contagious like measles while others are less so uh, likely to spread and this virus is highly contagious that is why it's making uh, so much news and it's uh, such a concern to so many uh, governments uh, the virus that causes covid 19 seems to be spreading uh, easily and sustainable in the community uh, means that it is spreading a community spread and that means it affects everyone in that community and the community spread means people have been affected with the virus in an area including some who are not sure how they became infected it also says steps to prevent the illness there are currently no vaccines to prevent coronavirus disease 2019 and as of today's date uh, the middle of what month are we in? I have no idea what month to be in. Um, we in what is it? March. We in March, right? Okay. So the best way to prevent the illness, illness is to avoid the uh, the exposure to the virus. Uh, first of all, so the virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between pers uh, people who are in close contact or proximity of each other with one another, and that means within about six feet. Uh, so pretty much uh, you don't want to be around people with this thing, uh, especially those people uh, that are infected. Uh, through respiratory uh, droplets uh, produced when an uh, infected person coughs or sneezes. So stay away from certain places. I know my son goes to the gym all of the time and uh, we, we, he stopped going to the gym this week because there's so many people in this Planet Fitness that um, and it's not to say that uh, plant, um, I'm just calling on Planet Fitness because he goes there. But I could imagine how many businesses are being affected because uh, you do not want to get in uh, to close proximity with people that is actually sweating, sneezing, coughing, stuff like that. Okay, so these droplets can land in the uh, mouths and noses of people who are, are nearby or possibly uh, be inhaled into the lungs. So things to note. Uh, a lot of people, if you ask them, uh, there was uh, on the news, 97 or 93 percent of the people said it has no daily effect on their lives. They're not changing their lifestyles in any way. And um, but again, uh, some things you take with a grain of, a grain of salt, and some things uh, do kill. And this does kill, not uh, uh, as bad as you may think it does, but. Uh, 
it's very bad if you're the one with the virus. Does that make sense? Okay. So steps to protect yourself. Here's what they're saying uh, everyone should do. Wash or clean your hands often. Uh, this is a no-brainer. I believe everyone should be cleaning their hands uh, on, a, on a daily basis, if not several times a day. Uh, but um, this is news to, to a lot of people, apparently, that you must wash your hands. Wash your hands often with soap and water uh, for at least 20 seconds. Of course, scrubbing it thoroughly. I saw Dr. Oz on television today actually showing you and demonstrating how to wash your hands correctly. Uh, this is amazing stuff. I didn't think this was um, rocket science, but this seems to be very new to some people. And... Um, uh, after have you been uh, after you've been in the public uh, place or after blowing your nose or coughing or sneezing you want to make sure you wash your hands and if soap and water is not readily available make sure you have hand sanitizer uh, that contains at least 60 percent alcohol because it's the actual alcohol that kills the germs on your hand cover all surfaces of your hand and rub them together until they feel dry avoid touching your eyes your nose stuff like that uh, with unwashed hands avoid close contact uh, avoid close contact with people who are sick uh, we don't know who's sick um, so avoid people uh, put distance between yourself and other people the COVID-19 um, is spreading uh, in your community and um, yes it is it's spreading in everyone's community and we're gonna look at the maps and um, see some other stats in a second so Stay home if you're sick. Wow. Stay home if you're sick. Uh, so what they recommended is if you're sick, you don't go to the emergency room and stuff like that unless it's a, uh, it's ultimately uh, dire, dire circumstances. But if you're sick or you feel you have these symptoms, what you want to do is call your healthcare physician or uh, the doctor and uh, tell them that you think you may be infected. And then uh, they, they'll, they'll guide you, I guess. Um, uh, as to what to do when that actually happens. Cover your coughs and sneezes. We went over that. Wear a face mask, a mask if you're sick. I've seen a, a lot of people uh, today with face masks on. Uh, I don't think they're sick. I just think they're putting on this mask to prevent themselves from getting sick, but that is not going to stop you from getting sick. Uh, so if you are sick, that is a sign that you are sick. Stay away from you. And I don't know why I'm seeing you out in the public anyway. You should be inside or isolated if you're sick not walking around uh today uh in costco or walmart and clean and disinfect your house um so people clean and disinfect your house hmm. so here's some locations um with the covid 19 uh cases uh by who um re by region and uh, that's the world health organization list in these countries africa the americas europe um uh, the Western Pacific, Southeast Asia, and as you could see, hundreds of people and countries are on this list. Let's go to the next list. Next list we have um, continuing uh, Eastern Mediterranean, uh, Western Pacific, and again, tons and tons of countries. This thing is spreading like wildfire. Um, so that is why they're so concerned. Now, what happens if you do get sick? Well, they say stay at home and call your doctor. Call your healthcare um, provider, like we mentioned, and let them know about your symptoms. Tell them that you have or may have the COVID-19. This will help them take care of you and keep other people from getting infected or exposed. If you are not sick enough to be hospitalized, you can recover at home. And I think it's a two week, a week uh, uh, incubation, incubation or uh, two-week isolation period where they, um, they they keep you away from everyone else and I guess they get you the medication somehow. Uh, no one explains how that happens, but I guess if you're sick, you'd find out. Get medication, um, uh, medical attention immediately if you have any emergency and warning signs. And we're going to go over those signs in a second. So watch for the symptoms and emergency warning signs. Pay attention for potential COVID symptoms, which includes fever, cough, and shortness of breath. If you feel like you are developing symptoms, call your doctor. If you develop emergency warning signs, uh, get medical attention immediately. In adults, emergency warn, um, warning signs are uh, difficulty breathing and shortness of breath, persistent pain and pressure in the chest, uh, new confusion or inability 
to arouse, hmm, whatever that is. Um, and again, uh, bluish lips or face. Uh, I would guess bluish lips. Who turns bluish if you are, I guess, if you are like suffocating or something. Um, so there you have that. And again, this thing affects everyone, all ages, more so the elderly, uh, sick people with um, heart problems, uh, diabetes, stuff like that. And it's elderly people. Um, very few kids, they say some kids uh, show very little um, symptoms or signs of it, even if they had it. So, but take everything with a grain of salt. Remember, in 2000, there was Y2K uh, killing us all. They had, had Amtrax in 2001, uh, 2002, West Nile virus was killing us, 2003, SARS, bird flu, E. coli. The bad economy in 2008 killed a lot of us. 2009, the swine food flu was killing you. 2010, BP oil is uh, going to kill us all. Uh, oh, you remember the Mayan ca calendar that we all going to die in 2012? Okay. 2013, North Korea is kill going to kill us. Ebo Ebola in 2014. The Disney measles and the ISIS was going to take us out in 2015. 2016, we saw the Zika virus, and then 2020, coronavirus, and that is not the bear. Okay, so the Dow, how does it affect the economy? How does it affect the rest of us and our lifestyle? Well, the Dow is being plagued by the coronavirus. Imagine that. So, headline news this week, stock plunges. I believe it was 1,900 drop one day, 1,400 drop picked back up 1100 points the dow jones is all over travel is being affected um, this is uh, public health in england a new infection has uh, been detected in wuhan china and again there are signs and postage all over in airports and stuff like that train station concerns affecting travel industry airlines are down with uh, ticket sales they're cutting black on flights and obviously that means they're going to be raising the flight, uh, flights for some people because not so many uh, people are traveling. A lot of people are canceling flights. Not to mention cruises or other types of transport. I, I heard the other day Uber was giving them um, some issues with um, transport as well, with uh, suspension of drivers and infected people uh, coming in contact with people. Uh, and they pick up a lot of people at the airport, so you want to stay away from that stuff. Uh, coronavirus again, UK border passports, just to um, give you a, a, a update on some of the stuff that is going on here. Here's what it looks like here. Well, that's everybody uh, about and uh, out and about. Not too worried about the virus, I guess. Cruises, my favorite thing to do, cruise. Cruises are affected, and for the most part, uh, it, it, it means uh, uh, to elicit a feeling of relaxation, literally floating away from your landlocked responsibilities for a few days. But thousands of passengers aboard four different cruise ships, their vacation quickly turned into a nightmare scenario. And those four cruise ships are the Diamond Princess, uh, the Westerdam, World Dream, the Royal Caribbeans, the Anthem, Athens, and uh, of the Sea cruise ships, and have all been affected, aka Wuhan coronavirus. And then we could look at that. Reports of the cor uh, coronavirus cruises, um, MSC, 2,300 passengers approximately. They've been quarantined on, on March 4th. Uh, 4th. Uh, you had the Grand Princess, 1,000 people quarantined again. One passenger dead from the virus there, MC, MSC, uh, had 4,500 passengers docked in Mexico uh, because of one passenger. However, passengers aboard had flu and not the coronavirus in that case. The World Dream, all 1,800 um, passengers tested negative. So good for them. And they uh, quarantine ended on February 6th. The Diamond Princess, 700 people infected, 3,700 passengers and crew, March final um, evacuation. And uh, then the MS Westerdam, 1,450 passengers quarantined, ended May uh, February 12th, one passenger tested positive. So that's cruising and that's why they wanted you not to get on cruises and stuff like that, but again, you don't have to be infected, one person infected and everything gets shut down. And not to mention when you travel abroad, 
What if they quarantine the entire ship and you keep you there? How are you going to get home? Uh, any government around the world could decide to quarantine you at any time. So how does it affect your money? Well, we all work. Uh, see, a lot of people are going to work and uh, businesses with... Uh, oh, you're not supposed to do this. Uh, businesses... Uh, I, I recommend that you stay at home and work. But how do you stay home and work if, if, if that, that, the type of job you do requires you to be out and about? Salespeople need to be out and about. They can't work from home, uh, for example. Uh, so that's tough on business. And that is why the stock market is taking such a huge hit. A uh, huge hit because the employers have to come out with extra money. Uh, President Trump is giving uh, tax breaks and stuff like that to help out. Uh, but again, a lot of people are affected. It may not affect you, uh, but you may know somebody that is affected. It may not affect me, uh, but I know, might know somebody that is affected. And it's good to be self-employed uh, these days because, uh, again, it depends on what type of self-employed you are uh, because some jobs require you to actually interact with people. And that is bad news for a lot of those positions. Uh, schools are affected. Universities are affected. Uh, quite a few businesses are affected. In fact, uh, let, me, let, let me just read off a list. I put a list here together. Uh, the coronavirus affects workers and their income levels. Airlines lose money. Hotel rooms lose money. No one wants to go to hotels. Restaurants are losing money, left, right, and center. You looked at the, the, the entire uh, um, Italy. Totally shut down. All the restaurants empty. Um, movies. All this movies. James Bond pushed back uh, for November release, uh, should have been coming out next month. Um, so the movie industry um, is, is losing money because of fear of the virus and uh, no one's gonna go into the cinemas and stuff like that. Ride share services, like I said, um, people are uh, saying to stay away. Uh, music concerts uh, being canceled all over the world. People with uh, music concerts, uh, because it is a gathering of a lot of people, they wanna cancel that stuff. The election debates, I see the Democrats are, trying to find a candidate and they postponing the live audiences and they actually stopping the, 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 the town meetings and stuff like that. And obviously the cruise industry is, industri is and that is just the name of you. It's quite a few businesses I'm sure that is gonna be affected. Um, people at work, uh, there's a lot of businesses that work for booking cruises and stuff like that, uh, the booking airlines, hotels, all of these people are going to have to be downsized, laid off or cutbacks are gonna to have to be made. Uh, so again, it might be a time to re-assess uh, assess your life and decide to make some changes. Uh, so there's coronavirus testing, and uh, there's only limited amount of kits, kits in, in the US right now, so that if it goes really, uh, the outbreak happens huge, uh, a lot more than it is happening now, they're gonna be out of kits uh, because everyone requires like two tests and stuff like that. So that is on a limited basis as well. And um, how does it affect your shopping and your daily life? Um, this is how people shop now. That's amazing. And uh, I'm in Maryland, and I saw that in, uh, today. Uh, people walking around with these masks in Maryland. So uh, I don't think they're infected, but they, they think it's going to prevent them from being effect affected. Uh, some people are doing really well in business. Mm. Purell. This is like a gold mine for them, isn't it? Well... That's sold out all over the place. You can't get that. Toilet paper? Seriously? All gone. Here, here, here you go. Let's just take those stuff off the shelf, man. Some things are just sitting there and some things you can't keep it on the shelf. So you think about it for a second. What are you going to be stocking up on? And that's the coronavirus in a nutshell. So just to recap real quickly. Uh, what is coronavirus? Uh, coronavirus is a disease 29... Um, uh, discovered in 2019. Uh, COVID-19 is uh, caused by the respiratory virus uh, first identified in Wuhan province uh, uh, in, Can in China, sorry. And this is a new virus that hasn't uh, caused Ill illnesses in the humans before. Uh, should I wear a face mask? Does anyone um, watch your public rights? How does the virus spread? Currently, understanding about how the virus spreads is largely based on what we know about similar viruses and coronaviruses. And it's uh, people to people, uh, between people who are close proximity, uh, within six feet of each other. Sneeze, um, touch, sweat, gyms, stuff like that. 
it's transferred. And um, so, yeah, check out the CV, CDC uh, website uh, for more information. I'm sure the news is pounding this thing every single day. Uh, that's just my quick update on the coronavirus. And uh, maybe you should leave a comment down below and let me know how it affects your life, if it is affecting your life at all. Uh, does it affect your life? Uh, is it like one of these other viruses that big news today and then it's forgotten tomorrow? There's no cure. There's no vaccine for it right now. Uh, you just have to wait it out for 14 days and take some, uh, I guess, uh, antibiotics, steroids, or whatever it is they give you. I don't even think it's antibiotics because that's for bacteria. This is the virus, so it's, it might be some other um, treatment that they give. And um, So, yeah, that's my update. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And don't forget to work less, play more, and enjoy life. Bye.